Hello and welcome to another of Charles Marlowe's property tours here in the glorious sunshine of Ibiza and today I've got something extremely special to show you. Finding that authentic Ibizan finca is a never-ending quest but this could be the last day of that because I think I've found it. Situated in the heart of the island I have one of the most beautiful houses I've been to in a very long time. Sat on this glorious plot of 32,000 square meters. She has six bedrooms, she has six bathrooms. She's achingly gorgeous throughout. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to fall in love with Cambella. Okay, so let's go and take a closer look at the house itself. First, let me explain to you what a privileged spot we're in here. So we're in the heart of the island, as I mentioned earlier, about midway up between Ibiza town and Santolalia. Santolalia actually is located a stone stow in that direction. We've just come off the main road between Ibiza town and Santolalia, yet the beauty of it is you cannot hear it at all. We are in an oasis of calm and tranquility and beauty right here. The only thing I can hear, the birds in the trees, the slight breeze running through the leaves. That direction, we can carry on driving through a little Camino and pop out in Jesus. Location-wise, this is absolutely on point. One of the best bits of the island to be in, believe me. Let's come inside and take a look at this absolutely marvellous living room. You know that smell of Sabina wood beams that have been treated and varnished properly? It's perhaps my favourite smell in the world and there's an abundance of it in here. This is a proper house. And look at this living space. I adore that enormous wicker lampshade above the dining table there. Coming into the living room here, look at this. Windows open at the moment. It doesn't need to be, however which way you like it. This is how I like it for sure. Let the sunlight come into the living space. Beautiful furniture. <music> 10 out of 10 comfortable. And what I love about this, I've got one eye on the TV, one eye on the lush green view of the garden, all within the same view. Wonderful stuff. Big chimney, working fireplace, great for the cooler winter months. And speaking of keeping this house warm, we have underfloor heating that goes absolutely everywhere. Air conditioning built into the walls of every room of the house, so you will be comfortable 365 days of the year. Come with me, let's go through to the kitchen. Passing by this outstanding piece of furniture as I do. I love that, old workbench with authentic saw marks in there. Beautiful pizza oven here, which we access from the outside. We'll get another look at that in a moment, no doubt. And now come on through to the kitchen. We had high ceilings through there. We've got even higher ones through here. The Sabina wood seam continues. Come into this cute little kitchen. Sturdy micro cement work surfaces. Double oven, we've got a double basin. Big fridge freezer here. The dining area we've just seen. One of the things I love about these old proper Ibizan thinkers as well, look at these details such as the shelving built into the walls. And then we come through to a second living area in the house, a snug I would call this, and I have it on good authority that the owners like to spend a lot of the colder, coolest, cosy winter months in here. They like the fire, they read a book, this is where they spend a bit of their downtime. We've gone from high ceilings, we've gone to very high ceilings, we've gone to extraordinarily high ceilings in this part of the house. I love that very much. And then we go down to this end of the room, and as you can see, another sofa, a bit more relaxation space. We've got an entrance to a lovely terrace just here. But whilst we are in here, I would like to show you, follow me, a couple of guest bedrooms located at this end of the house. This one right here. And actually the best thing about this bedroom is this vast bathroom, a huge space. We've got a bath, a shower, double basin, floods of natural light coming in from a skylight just here. And for those of you with lots of clothes, you will enjoy this space in here. A huge walk-in wardrobe, plenty of cupboard space, and these, which I really love, beautiful wooden drawers built into the wall. They're gorgeous. Okay, follow me please. Back through here, and then back out into the snug area here. We have another double ensuite bedroom just here. I'll leave you with a couple of shots of that. Okay, let's step outside. Sun is shining after all. Look at these stone details above the door. I love those. We come out here, I love this also. Beautiful little breakfast spot. Just coming straight out of the kitchen. You want some shade? No problem at all. We've got a beautiful pergola space here with padded seating, bigger dining table, the electricity for the lights when it gets a bit darker in the evening. And then before you know it, you're out onto the garden what a garden it is. A huge expanse of green lawn, perfect for the kids to be playing or for the adults to be sunbathing. 
But whilst we're here, I'm gonna take you back inside momentarily because there's a few more bedrooms to be seen first. This one, I would call the master. We can access it through the garden as you've just seen, but look here to my right, to your left, and we have direct access into the living room too. So the bedroom consists of the main space here, but we've got a little study area here before going through to the bathroom on the other side of the room. Let's go and take a look. The bathroom actually is through here, but we've got a little dressing space in here. Gorgeous micro cement bathroom with shower, and actually if you take a step this way, you're back outside again. You're never too far from the outside of this house. That's what I love about it. And right here, I've got the entrance to an amazing roof terrace just up there. I'm saving that for the end of the film when I say my goodbyes. Please make sure you watch to the very end. But first of all, let me lead you down a beautiful garden path. I've got fruit trees here to my left. I can smell the rosemary. I can smell the basil throughout the garden. A real sense of zen and relaxation around here. And if you've got your bearings about you, you'll see that I'm now the other side of the bedrooms that access out into the garden, into the swimming pool. You can get into them this way as well. So that is what I will now do. Follow me, we go straight into the ensuite of this bedroom here, double basin and shower. Coming through to the main space. And as I said, here's this fantastic entranceway that brings you straight out again onto I think my favorite bit of the house, this incredible garden. Come, come, come. There's another bedroom here just next door. It's pretty similar with the same access points. So I'll leave with a few shots of that rather than walking through it myself. But let's take a look at this glorious swimming pool. These things are designed for days like today. Incredibly warm. I'll probably be jumping in there in a minute. We might not show that. What I will show you, fantastic relaxation space here once more. I've got a view of the pool and the garden, the surrounding lush rolling hills that surround this amazing plot. Over here, I've got a small outdoor kitchen with some more dining. This is where you'll be enjoying drinks in the summertime and light lunch, no doubt. And then a couple more things to show you this way. The fun hasn't finished yet. And here we have a sauna. If it wasn't hot enough out here. Patan court. And again, acres of wild vegetation to maybe further cultivate or just enjoy as it is. I'm going to walk back down past this swimming pool one more time. And actually from here, you get a fantastic shot of the house. That's, that's the money shot really, take a look at that. But then please, once again, follow me. There is one more thing I did wanna show you before we start to wrap things up and something that I think actually further makes this house very special. And that is this amazing olive grove. We've got around 30 olive trees here, probably more. You wanna make your own olive oil? Well, you've got all the ingredients. Let's go back, finish things off at the house. I'm back at the front door, near where I was at the beginning of the film, and just gives me time to tell you about another building here. We've got storage space, plenty of it behind these two wooden doors, and if you go around the corner, you'll access the apartment, bedroom number six of this wonderful home. I'll leave you to go and take a look at that. I'm off up to the roof terrace. Come and join me there in two. And here I am, up on the roof, enjoying the views, taking in the late afternoon sun and thinking about what a gorgeous house. Cambella really is. I hope you have fallen in love with her as much as I have. She is a beauty, that much is true. And the great news is she could be yours. She is for sale through Charles Marlowe. So please do get in touch if you'd like to find out a little bit more about this fantastic home. If you'd just like to see more of these property tours, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to see them. Comment in the comment box about anything you'd like us to feature 
going forward and we'll happily do our best to oblige. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now and I'll leave you with these amazing views. Thank you.